Does anyone remember the hotkey for wipers? I think I forgot. Oh, also, I need to reset up my steering wheel again. It's been a while since we've played this. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here for some uh, American Truck Simulator. How you doing, chat? Just gonna get it to recognize my steering wheel, and we're ready to go. You think it was L? That's for lights. I just tried it. Uh, does it not recognize my steering wheel? Let me plug it back in. Oops, wrong button. 
Is it P? Okay, I'll give that a shot in a second. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here. If you haven't already, click or tap that uh, subscribe button. Your name should pop up here in a second or two. Uh, Nathan Co Cogill, Cowgill, thank you very much for the 79 pence. Putting a little fuel in the gas tanks, dude. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right, we're going to see if it can recognize the controller this time. Well, darn it. It doesn't recognize the steering wheel. Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Input wizard. No gaming controller. Oh, here we go. Detecting. Yeah, go on. Come on now. You can do it. Come on, computer. You can do this. Come on, get it started. Come on. Come on. Turn over. Come on, auto detect system. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Whoop. There we go. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I think I already got this all pre-set up. But now that it detected it, it should work. Ah, there we go. Perfect. One thing I do know is I got to work on the brake sensitivity because that's always a problem. Uh, let's see. Brake access. Where's... Oh, that's under gameplay, isn't it? Let's see. Braking sensitivity. Or what? what is it called? Let's see. Do... Game settings, job length, parking difficulty. Ooh, rain probabilities all the way up. Nice. Oh, here we are. Ranking intensity. Okay, I'll lower that a little bit. I don't. It, it all. Ba it's all based on the truck. So there we go. All right, welcome aboard, everybody. Let's give some big old crazy shout outs to all the supporters. Don Key, thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, we're. It's going to be super chill tonight, folks. So. There, there's going to be nothing super neck-breaking about this. I, I just didn't know what to stream, and I missed you guys. So I was just like, I'm, I'm going trucking. That's it. So I quit YouTube, and now I'm a FedEx trucker. NASA, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate your works in space. I thought your moon landing was pretty cool. Bruce, thank you for subbing. <sighs> yeah, we're just, we, we just begun. All right, I'm going to turn down the tunes just a smidge. Some of this music can be a little loud. Turn that down just a hair. There we go. Besides, the only music you boys want to hear is American Diesel. All right, y'all ready? You love the day cab FedEx? I, I like it too. I uh, just basically downloaded a quick skin. This is basically the well. This is a vanilla truck. This is just the uh, vanilla uh, Peterbilt. Uh, I forget what this is. This is the five seven nine. I think this is the 579, and then it's just got a vanilla um, skin to it. So, welcome aboard, everybody. Good to see you all here. All right, now let's see if I have my keys. Oh, wait. Maybe I have to start the truck first? I should have a button. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's on my steering wheel. Very good. This is the 579? Okay, I couldn't really remember. Music's annoying while I'm talking. Usually people tell me to shut up. I can never please you people. All right, boys, so we are in California right now. It's supposed to be sunny California, but apparently not. We're in uh, San Francisco. And, uh, oh yeah, we got all these nice mods on and everything. If you want to see my mods, again, check down below in the description. I'm getting excited for the Washington DLC. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to go up there. But Oregon's nice. I like going up here. I like Northern California, uh, Washington, and Oregon. I love all the logging up there. It's crazy. Okay, let's uh, get started with some, uh, let's see, let's get started with some uh, freight market. Oh, wait, cargo market, yes. It's been a while since I had my own trailer. Uh, what happened to the face cam? Uh, it died in an explosion. Let's see, where can we go? San Francisco. Okay, so we're FedExing stuff. Uh, let's go to, I want to go north. Hawksner, that's a good, oh, that's south, darn it, I thought that was north. Fresno. Kingman. Oh, Portland. Perfect. Tableware. All right. Somebody crazily, somebody wants some Amazon Prime emergency tableware. I think Colt up there is, he's needing a, uh, even though Colt is nowhere near Oregon right now, I think we're just going to make a, a delivery to him. Uh, face cam, a $500 super chat and I'll uh, show my beautiful face. This, this ain't free, boys. Otherwise, I'm just here to be real relaxed with you guys and just hang out. So we've already got the truck ready to go. Let's go ahead and pick up the cargo. 
And let me see if I can hear the music a little, or the uh, truck in a little bit. I can't really hear the truck in. Oh, I know why. Because my I I unplugged my uh, I unplugged my headset briefly, and it always cuts the music out of this game. Okay, well we got our cargo picked. So I just need to do a quick restart because in this game, anytime that I mess with the audio, it just always goes out. So I just need to like do a quick game restart. I don't know why. Anybody else have that problem where you like make a change in ATS or Euro Truck to the sound and then like it just doesn't work? Anytime that happens, I just have to restart the game. Luckily, it's not a problem in uh, single player, but multiplayer, a little different story. There we go. Okay, let's go trucking. You're from Virginia. Well, welcome. Good to see you here. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks, everybody, for clicking and tapping the subscribe button. Thanks, everybody, for clicking and tapping the like button. Thanks for all your memberships this week. If you guys want to join me and get access to those emotes and support the channel further, there's your link to do so right there if you're interested. Okay, let's see. All right, I better get my chair in order here. There we go. All right, good enough. All right. Very nice. All right. Will I be doing Alaskan trucking sim? Absolutely. I'm looking. That game looks really neat. However, is the interior lights on? Jeez, it doesn't even seem like it. Oh, parking brake. Forgot. All right. It's been a long time since I drove this truck, boys. So if uh, if I stall it out, uh, it's it's been a while. Da, 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 da. Gotta remember all the tachometer and everything. Oh boy. Man, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's reverse gear. Jeez, I can't see like that. There we go. It's probably rush hour. Hey, <laughs> you want to see me drive a real rig? Oh, that's going to be a... That'll be a long time before that happens, if at all. How did I get my pick for the avatar? Uh, you mean the thumbnail? I just took it uh, moments ago. Literally from where we were started. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Oh good, an ambulance is coming. I'll be needing that soon. I gotta get used to the gears on this truck too. Ooh, they are... They are close together. Alright, there we go. Now, ooh, oh! Okay, well, that's gonna be fun. Gotta get used to this all over again. It's been a very long time. I think the last time we played this was when I, um, when I did a little, uh, like a s snowstorm stream. So I gotta get used to all the controls all over again. I already dinged up the trailer a little bit, but luckily that'll buff right out. That's probably fine. There we go. Alright. What are we delivering? We're going to pick up tableware. We're uh, delivering for Amazon Prime, I guess. Well, San Francisco is a good place to start getting used to uh, all tight corners and everything. The city is nothing but a tight corner. Floor it? Well, it's all about simulating trucking. Truckers don't necessarily floor it. They just go with the flow sometimes, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Do I have a horn? Yeah. You you can blow a horn in the in the game. You can actually get some nice air horns too. There's lots of mods for different horns. That's what's really cool about this game. It's got about three billion different mods. So if there's anything that you want, it's pr probably exists as a mod. Alright. Gotta get used to driving it all over again. So far so good. I wonder if the trolley comes by. I've never seen it. Why did that guy stop in the middle of the road? That was strange. Did you see that guy in front of us? He just came to a dead stop in the turn and then kept going like he was stopping at the red light ahead of us. There we go. Looks like St. Louis. Yeah, Missouri is in the game for mods. There is mods for St. Louis. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, is this is this UPS in front of me? Maybe we should uh, maybe we should ram them. 
Just a prank. Just a prank, bro. I'm passing the amazing diner right now. Was it the Dino Diner? Okay, let's see if this guy will let us in. Sir, will you back off and let me in or no? Wait, or are we... Actually, I think we have to go... Oh, I forget. How do we... Oh, yeah, we have to go left here. Pick up our cargo first. There we go. Probably an officer. Undercover on marked car. Don't worry, your identity's safe with me. Dun, 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 dun. No, I saw the car beside me. That's why I signaled before, uh, before merging. I was hoping that he would uh, slow down and let me in, but... He just sped up instead, which is fine. Bum, bum. Yeah, the thing about undercover cops, yeah, you can always tell when it's an undercover cop. Yes, indeed. Alright, so we just need to pull in here, is it? Oh, yeah, right here. Alright. Uh, Kiwili, what? Ki Kiwi Hill. Thank you very much for subscribing. Alright, cargo market. Please don't have expired on me. Ah, good. Perfect. All the way up to Oregon. Uh, you want me to back in over there? Okay. Uh, oof. I guess I'll go in and flip around. You love the Wolfpack gameplay? Best playthrough on YouTube? Yeah, I've been trying to get the guys together for that, but uh, the last couple of days have been just like, it's been difficult to get anybody organized in my communities. Everybody, It's been a weird... It's just been one of those times that happens every once in a while where everyone's just kind of busy or just doing something. But uh, I, I, did, I definitely want to live stream Wolfpack. It's going to be a fun game. And you can watch those videos on the channel. Alright, block with the road for a little bit. Sorry, new player coming through. That's oh, okay, Colt. It, the trouble about that game is we really need like six or seven people ready to go because there's always a few people who uh, drop out and get busy. So it'd be good if you were around. Strombi, Voidfish, Pinto. We need a good group here to get her done. Let's see if I can swing over this way. I forget how far that thing is. To skip loading, press enter. Oh. I will. I'm already pretty much dedicated to backing it in now. Hi there, Tim D. Excellent gaming. Thank you for subbing. Oh, do I have my trailer break button? Nope, I don't think I set that. Darn it. Alright, well. Let's go this way. Remember Con Dog? Aren't you supposed to be Corn Dog? I think you misspelled your name. I see your. I see Corn Dog. Corn Dogs are awesome, dude. A little bit of ketchup and mustard. I don't mind a little ketchup on there. All right, let's see. I don't know. Do you get do you get bonus points for backing the trailer and for pickup? I don't know if you get it for pickup, but maybe for maybe for well for delivery for sure. Oof, this is gonna be. Well, if I needed to park it over six feet to the to the right side, that would have been better. Jay Holmes for the thirteen ninety nine, big fan. Uh, keep it between the lines, and your stick on the ice from Canada. Thank you very much for the support, bud. I just need to get a little uh, practice in and backing up. It's been... I think I haven't played this for at least four months. So, a little rusty. Wait a minute, why am I... I, I had a button assigned for trailer break and now I can't remember it, so I'm... a little in need. There we go. Well, eighth time will be the charm. Let's try this. Ooh. Perfect. Is this a truck simulator? Yeah. As the name would imply, it's an American truck simulator. And there's also a European version, too. And that one I like a lot more, because... Europe's a little bit more interesting to me. There's a lot more buildings to see. But the Americans like America. 
Okay, well, I guess that's good enough for uh, pickup, I guess. There we go. Uh, Raptor, if you ran a country, what would the country's currency be? Uh, uh, dinosaur nuggets. Yeah, that's what it would be. All right. So now we are fully loaded with... Uh, oh, yes, it wouldn't be a Raptor stream without it being absolute nighttime. All right. Turn that brightness up, boys. Hi there, Cole. Good to see you. Ah, uh, yes, Tim D. showing off those wonderful emotes. If you guys want access to them, if you want your name to pop up on the stream, if you want your name highlighted in green, if you want a badge next to your name and all these other perks on YouTube, click or tap that link in chat, or click or tap the uh, join button down below. If you don't see it, just follow my link there. And you can support the channel. Thanks in advance, guys. Uh, here comes the fire department. Oh, red light. All right, go, 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 go. There we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Nighttime rainstorm driving. Very good. Wholesome stream initiated. <sighs> I passed a restaurant? Oh, man. We're going to have to stop on our way back. I'm going to get hungry for sure. Yeah, all right. Wait a minute. Are my high beams on? Oh, no. Okay. I think we need to turn left here at the... Inter at the yeah, there's an intersection up here. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, how nice. How do you get the Raptor emotes? You just have to click or tap the uh, join button down below. I'll drop another link for it, too. You can support the channel, and then YouTube unlocks a bunch of uh, emotes, and uh, you get a Raptor badge next to your name. All sorts of cool stuff. It's the best way to support the content and the creators that you like. gear might be a little too much for this hill. We'll see. Uh, she's crawling. Oh. I wanted fourth. There we go. You're having trouble finding mods once activated? Uh, well, once they're activated, they should be... I mean, it depends on your mod. But uh, just consult the workshop page and ask the maker of the mod for help. That's what they're there for. Oh, maybe I should have went into uh, four high. Uh-oh, someone got pulled over. Yeah, we're good now. All right. And there we go. Now we're on our way up to o Oregon. Portland. We're going to Portland now. Oh, wait. Six, yep. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, Mark, Mark Wall, you can uh, check the schedule of the channel down below to see what's coming next. This gear... Oh, it does have a 7th gear. I was so used to my other truck. What state am I from? Uh, Minnesota. Uh, what's the name of the playlist? This is just a uh, playlist I get access to through uh, a YouTube partnership, and so it gives me a bunch of free music. So I don't think any of you would have access to it. I don't even know the names of some of these songs. So again, welcome to everybody clicking and tapping that subscribe button, and uh, welcome to everybody clicking and tapping the like button. Thank you very much for all of your support. Sir, you do have to pick a lane. And I guess you're not going to. Okay. New subscriber 
shout out. There we go. Juan, thanks for subbing. Oh, uh, oh, oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah, he picked all the lanes. I guess I did too. I returned the favor to everyone behind me. <laughs> Can you ride a motorcycle in the game? There might be mods for it. You can definitely drive police cars and things. And there's even a multiplayer mod too where the moderators will drive around in cop cars. Pretty fancy. Oh, not too bad. Starting to get the hang of it again. Almost mediocre. Well, why are you driving in first person all the time? Uh, well, how do you drive your car? Do you drive outside the car or do you sit in the driver's seat and drive? Multi Saddlers, thanks for the uh, one pound ninety nine. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You do have to get over. Anonymous, thanks for subbing. It's a little troublesome when you're driving in these major cities. They got all these crazy uh, on ramps and off ramps and things. Yeah, Nathan, I'll stream whenever I stream. So to know when I'm streaming, just click or tap the notification bell and make sure you're subscribed so that way you can see all the notifications. Okay, we got a emergency vehicle up here. We gotta switch lanes. There we go. Oh, it's gonna be a dark night. You hate how slow the AI cars are? Yeah, they simulate regular drivers, though. People doing, you know, uh, 20 under the speed limit sometimes. People in the left lane with the with the left turn blinker on, and they're doing, you know, 41 and a, and a 60. How many gears does the truck have? Uh, seven high, seven low, a couple of reverse gears. Yes, I've been to Duluth before. It's really nice. Okay. Yes, these buses are in no hurry. They're doing like 41. Uh, we're driving from uh, San Francisco up to Oregon, so the trip, according to the oops, according to the GPS, will take us 12 hours and 24 minutes. But that's in-game time, and I don't. So that's probably going to be about like an hour or so. So we got plenty of time on this trip. Plenty of time. Doing good, Zachary. Thanks for asking. this guy hauling. Yeah, he's just got a dry goods van. Oh, Sentra. Oh, it's uh, probably insulation or something. Uh, there's a few, there's three truck brands in the game that are vanilla. Uh, you have Volvo, Peterbilt, and Kenworth, and then the sky's the limit for modded trucks. I mean, they have like crazy, um, like beautiful Mac R's and stuff in the game that are just absolutely gorgeous. I gotta pass this guy and get back in the right lane. I guess I'm in, I'm in no hurry. And thanks again, guys, for showing your overwhelming support by clicking and tapping that like button. Awesome and greatly appreciated. And a good kill on that one there, Voidfish. Someone not getting attention and so thus immediately angry. Good job. Oh, good job. Wait, where am I supposed to go here? Am I supposed to exit right? Oh no, damn. This part of California is always a nightmare. There's a, I'm always causing accidents here. Oh good, that must be uh, us in the future. So many off turn, uh, so many like turn offs and, oh whoa. Did you see that? That was an overturned truck with like tons of sand and stuff. Oh, I don't know if we would have even been able to take that road. It was blocked off. So I guess we'll just have to take this way. I don't even know if we would have been able to go there anyway. 
I forgot, they added like detours to the game. Or sometimes they have to go different different routes. Jeez, there are vehicles down all over. Whoa. There we go. Wow, crazy. You think I'd be a good trucker? Yeah, probably with with some training I would certainly do a lot better. And uh, But it's a difficult thing to drive and stream at the same time because when you're streaming you gotta pay attention to chat, you gotta give shout outs to people who click or tap the subscribe button, you have to thank people for uh, doing things such as checking out the Teespring store with the links in the chat. It's all sorts of things that you have to watch out for. I suppose we could uh, go up here. Oop, there we go. Wow, it's been a long time since I've done this. You go half the posted limit? Uh, that's that's not how you drive a semi. I don't think that's accurate. If the speed limit says 60 and uh, you're doing 30, uh, that's going to cause more accidents than prevent. People are just going to end up... Someone's going to just end up under your trailer. Yes, there is a multiplayer mod to the game. You just Google it and that's all you got to do. Uh, Zachary, we're hauling Tupperware. Yeah, somebody ordered some Amazon Prime Tupperware, so I'm heading it up to... Uh, <laughs> Must be a big dinner party or something up in Oregon. Welcome back, Flower Tower. Good to have you here. Oh, if visibility is poor? I wouldn't say visibility is poor. It's just raining. We're not talking about like heavy fog or a snowstorm. It's just some pretty good rain. So we got to go up here, flip around, and go back the other way. It looked like the off-ramp was maybe blocked back there by an overturned semi because we were supposed to go on the highway that was above us, but it looked like it was blocked off. First time I've seen that in the game. Hi there, Jonathan. All right, the worst of it's over. We're at the top of the big hill, finally. Nighttime streams always bum me out, though, because we don't get to see how beautiful the landscape is. And when you're driving on a cliffside road like this, the uh, the views are quite breathtaking for uh, these types of a stream. I wonder how far off the map we're going. Let's take a look. We've gone an awful long way. Jeez, at this point, we got to go all the way. Wow, look at that. You miss one turn, and you got to end up at the Walmart at Truckee. <laughs> We were supposed to take the 5 north, but it, I think it was blocked off. I'm not sure. That's okay. We're in no hurry. Even if I don't get there in time, I'm just here to play. That's all. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if I have the... Uh, Nope, I think I turned off, um, what do they call it, um, fatigue, so I won't get tired trucking all the time. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Yeah, we're doing some big O trucking tonight, that's right. Another, down to yet another single lane up here. Road crews are doing some resurfacing, it looks like. Uh, what's my fuel? Oh, we're at like uh, seven-eighths of a full tank. We got a lot of fuel. It's a day cab, though, I'm, but I'm rolling up to Oregon, so... I always like the day cabs, though. They just look cool. What are some good games I play? Check the channel. Every game I play, I enjoy it at least some uh, point. Get an autopilot on the semi? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a Tesla. Yeah, that's right. All right, we get to flip around here and get off the road and then circle back the other way. So that's good.
Uh, sir? It's probably clear. Okay. Okay. That looks like we're good to go, too. Nice. Is this early access or is it released? This is a full game. You can get uh, American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck on Steam for a very low price. There's an Easter sale coming up that I hear. And you'll probably be able to get this game and all the DLC for like 25 bucks. It is worth every penny. But the game itself will probably be worth like 4 bucks. It's totally worth it. With the amount of mods that you can get on a PC for this game, there's no reason not to own it. Everybody, even if you were to ask chat, would, they, would you, chat, would you recommend this game to a friend? If you had a friend who said, hey, I uh, saw that guy playing uh, ATS or Euro Truck or something, is that, is that a good game? Is that worth like f 4 to $10? March, thanks for the money, dude. Halo Raptor YouTube gave me $2 to give to you. Oh, well, thank you, March. Thank you very much for that. What do you mean by that? YouTube gave you $2 to give to me. What does that mean? Is there like a new program now where everybody gets some money to give to YouTubers? I've never even heard of, of that before. If that's a new thing. Yeah, for the yeah, for this game for like dude, 10 10 15 bucks, that's a perfect price for this game. Like if if it was 14.99, get it. 19.99, it's a little older than that I'd say, but for the amount of mods that you can play with and the fact that the uh, the game developers support the mods like crazy, it is totally worth it. They gave me $2 for my YouTube Premium to Snapchat. Really? Does anyone here use YouTube Premium? Everybody should try that out right now, see if that's a thing. Is that, is that real? I, I This would be the first time I heard about that. Assassin Gamer, thanks for the uh, 99 cents, dude. If anybody here uses YouTube Premium, click or tap that Super Chat button and see if you get two free dollars to give to me, if you want, if you want to. Only, only give it to super handsome and talented YouTubers. You know, like me. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a trial trial rollout? Maybe. Give it a look, everybody. Why not? In other words, it's free money that's sitting in your account. Because Twitch does the same thing, too. Like, if, for example, you have Amazon Prime and you go over to Twitch, uh, you can subscribe and, and give Twitch streamers uh, free money over there, too. That's part of their your account. So if you're an Amazon, Pro or if you're a YouTube pr uh, Premium user, you may as well give it a shot. I mean, they gave you free money. You may as well use it. I mean, that's like if we went to a Chuck E. Cheese and I gave you $2 and uh, you didn't use it on the claw machine, uh, you'd feel bad when we left. I mean, who doesn't like using the claw machine? I, for one, am addicted to those machines where the tokens fall down into the uh, thing of tokens that are being pushed forward by like a, uh, like a, like another bar and then more tokens fall out. Those things are, that's, that's where all my YouTube money goes to. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't buy fancy cars. I don't really buy too much in clothing, but I'm addicted to those uh, token machines that uh, push all the coins forward. Those things are awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love those things. Oh, wait a minute. We went down a gear. Hold on. There we go. That's your favorite one, too? Yeah, those things are absolutely addicting. I don't know why. Watch out for crocodiles? We're in California. I guess we'd have to w watch out more if we were in uh, Florida. I don't even know what the name of those coin machines are. Does it? Did they have an official name like Coin Drop or something? That sounds like a. That sounds like a good name for those things. Coin Drop. Right, this guy's getting in the right lane. I guess I'll do it too. I think it's an exit, and I think that's where we want to go. Uh, do you deliver packages in this? Uh, you're not. I'm not necessarily like a UPS or a FedEx like little truck driver. It's more of a big semi. Here you can kind of see what the semi looks like. It's like a. It's a serious semi truck. You have this game on your phone, but it's better on PC. I don't think this is a mobile phone game. A legit called a coin pusher? Okay. 
coin drop, coin pusher. You guys know what I'm talking about. Ooh, Staples. Dude, I need to get sponsorships by, like, uh, FedEx and Staples and stuff to drive their fake semis. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be so cool if, like, um, you know, Staples or uh, Walmart or Target or somebody called me and was like, Hey, hey, we saw your truck in stream. If you drive our fake Walmart truck, we'll give you money or something. That'd be cool. That'd be really neat. I like I like Target though. Walmart, Staples, all nice stuff. They certainly have some fancy pens over at that Staples. Is that their new slogan? More make make more happen? I thought Staples was easy button. Or am I thinking of Office Depot? I don't remember that slogan, make more happen. Isn't Staples supposed to be that was easy, or am I thinking, or is that Office Depot? Does anyone know? How relaxing. Got a weight scale up here. Oh, and it looks like we're clear to pass. They're not inspecting our Tupperware party. So we're going to go uh, north from California to Oregon. And then once we get there, we're stopping in... Uh, uh, not Portland, but... Uh-oh. Uh I forgot already where we were going. Let me see. James, thanks for seven. Oops. What is the button for that? Oh, I think it's... Isn't it F6? Ah, there it is. It is Portland. We are going to Portland. There we go. Office Depot. All right. Conf confirmed Office Depot. Well, welcome aboard to all the new subscribers. Thanks, guys, for your overwhelming support, too. For the amount of viewers that we have, remember, 99% of the people don't click or tap that subscribe button. So do the people who... Uh, Take a quick second out of the time of their day to show their support for the YouTube videos. Greatly appreciate that. Very nice of you all. Thank you for subscribing and liking and all the super chats tonight too. You guys are very kind. I gotta say thank you. I have to I have to say thank you. Ooh, cop sitting right there. Did you guys see him? Do you guys see that squad car sitting there? You love trucks? Yeah, I love, uh, I like all things vehicles. I've driven tanks before in real life. I've driven, uh, over cars and tanks. There's videos on my channel. I think I should re-release those videos, and some people probably haven't seen those by now, but I definitely need to put a video up about all the cars and stuff that I've crushed and all the things that I've done. Some big O tanks. Uh, Raptor, do you like food trucks? You mean, like, the ones where you can go and, uh, like, they're parked by the curb and... Like there's tacos or hot dogs or something like that. I'd, I've never been to one, but I'm down. Anonymous, thanks for subscribing. Your dad drives a truck? Awesome. Very good profession. I think most truck drivers make uh, hopefully north of $50,000 a year. So that's a pretty good career to start a family with in the United States. And then, of course, I'm sure you'll get more bonuses the more skilled that you are and the more things that you're... Uh, Qualified to handle, that type of thing. Joel Williams, welcome aboard. Alright, so we're on the slow crawl through this big O storm all the way up to uh, Portland, Oregon to deliver some Tupperware. I know if you guys are excited for uh, breakneck entertainment. And are we going to be stuck behind the staples guys the whole time? Alright, let's move. This guy's doing like 40 and a 55. Come on, buddy. Devon, thanks for subbing. Uh, my grandma's going 80 in a 60 mile per hour zone. Excellent. That's a woman who knows how to handle her vehicle. What tanks have I driven? Well, of course, the differentiation of tanks is all different, but armored vehicles and tanks and whatnot. Uh, I've driven a Martyr 1. Uh, in the, for the, you know, like the German army uses an armored vehicle called the Martyr 1 that transports troops around and has like a 20 millimeter auto cannon on the top of it. 
So I've driven one of those. I've also driven something that the Germans called a Gepard, which is mounted on a uh, Leo or a Leopard 1 tank chassis. And it's a big, uh, like, two, I think it's two 20 millimeter or two 30 millimeter cannons. And uh, it's basically like a giant anti-aircraft gun that can shoot down planes. And I crushed a car with that. And then I also have driven, like, an M113. It's a American, it was a British version of it, but it's a American-made... Uh, troop transport uh, from the Vietnam era and I've driven that with uh, like the top open and then through the periscope too I've also driven a uh, some sort of a self-propelled artillery gun I think it was like a 105 millimeter Abbott I think that's the uh, I think that's the size of it and I've also driven a, uh, a T-55 Soviet main battle tank and I think it was Soviet made and I've driven that around. That has a 100 millimeter gun on it from uh, the 50s and 60s. And the other thing that I've driven is a Chieftain Mark 11. And I crushed a car with that. And boy, oh boy, did that thing, that thing handle like a dream. It was actually the tank that uh, Matthew McConaughey uh, drove in the movie um, Reign of Fire. So uh, I was in the turret where Matthew McConaughey was and it was really cool. They sold it after the movie, and this guy happened to buy it, so that's how I got into it. Really cool. I think the next thing I'd like to drive is a Sherman tank. That'd be pretty cool. I think I want to... Maybe I'll go back this summer. Yeah, I'd like to go back this summer and maybe drive a Sherman tank and do some stuff like that. And then that was it. Oh, and I've also flown in a helicopter before. That was a lot of fun. Why not a Tiger tank? Oh, uh, they probably wouldn't let you drive one of those. They're awfully rare and very, uh, they're like, um, what would you say? They're more, uh, oh, what would, what would you say? Like a collector's item? That's not the word I'm looking for. They're very, uh, they're very rare. There's not many Tiger tanks remaining from World War II, and for the ones that do work, I think there's only one that is fully functional, and it's in Bovington in the United Kingdom. I mean, I'm sure they would let you... I mean, if you were a big supporter of the museum and donated hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, uh, they might let you get behind the uh, control sticks, or is it the... I think the Tiger tank has a wheel, but of all the tanks that I've driven, I think they all had... Uh, they either had sticks or a yoke. And even in the in the T-55, I had to shift gears, so I had to learn how to work a... Uh, <laughs> to... to <laughs> use a manual clutch on a, on a tank in about five minutes, and that was pretty easy to do. But a Tiger would be cool. If somebody asked me to drive the Tiger, I would say yes. I've driven plenty of armored vehicles now. But as for a virtual semi, no can do. Ah, very nice. Hey, what do you guys like to listen to in your car when you're uh, when you guys are out driving, or when mom and dad are driving, or if you're on a plane ride or something, or the bus or whatever? What do you guys like to listen to in your cars? I like to do I like to do like video game soundtrack. If I'm excited to go somewhere, I'll put on like some raging battle music, or it's pretty much classical and uh, and like jazz. ACDC. Oh yeah. Oh, eight bit music. Nice. I've been there before. I played that before. Pop music, nice. Now, do you guys listen to the radio or your own playlist? Because I don't mind doing the radio every once in a while, but then I'm right back over to my own, like, playlist and stuff. Oh, XM Satellite Radio? Wow, that's still a thing. That's cool. I thought that was dead after, like, the uh, early 2000s. After everyone had, like, a... After everyone got a smartphone, I thought that was all dead. System of a Down? All right, nice. I like that. Pantera, very good. Play a playlist and such. Okay, so most people like their own playlists and things like that. That's good. Prodigy, nice. Metallica, there you go. I was waiting for somebody to say Metallica. Judas Priest, nice. Y2K, very good. Yes, I'm in the United States. We're currently in California, heading north towards. Uh, actually, we might. Let me just check. Take a little peek, Ruski, at the uh, GPS. Ah, uh, we're in Reading right now. We're heading north to Hornbrook, and then to Medford, through Eugene, Salem, and then finally our last destination of Portland. Just north of Portland. Very nice. Alright, good. 
Uh, is there Texas? Not yet, but there are mods that unlock the whole United States. But they're working on these states one by one. They're highly detailed. When the, 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 mod, when the developers of this game make a, a map, it's almost like when... Anybody here have somebody in their family who makes, like, model train sets? Yeah, these guys have to design everything. They have to put down every bush, every tree, every uh, telephone pole, street light, signs. They have to custom make buildings for the cities. So it takes a very long time for them to do that. And they want to ensure quality. So, uh, you know, if they're going to try to tell you to, hey, we're, you know, adding Texas to the game for $9.99. Texas is a huge state, and it would mean, mean a lot of detail. So they put in a lot of good work for it. Uh, do you hate to double clutch? Uh... I don't think I hate it or not. I don't know. Welcome again to people clicking and tapping the join button. Appreciate that. Hopefully you guys enjoy those new emotes. If all the members in chat want to say hi. And uh, encourage everyone else to become a member. The more people we have as members, by the way, the more emotes that we unlock for all of you to use. So hopefully more people become members to uh, support. And of course, more importantly, to get more emotes so we can have more fun. Uh, do I love you? Well, if you were a medium, uh, a medium fry from McDonald's with a side of ketchup, then yes, yes, I do. What happened to Nightbot? Nightbot's in here. I just—he's been toned down a little bit. I don't have him as spamming as much stuff anymore. Fuel is sixty to seventy. Yeah, it's probably about sixty percent now. Uh, we're hauling a bunch of Tupperware up to Portland, Oregon. Ba -ba. And for those of you asking about other games that are not related to American Truck Simulator, I would highly encourage you to click or tap the link in chat for the new video schedule. Videos and games that I plan on playing for the next month are listed there. So you can check that down below. Do I have a pet? Yes. Pinto. Pinto is my, Pinto is my pet. Michael Williams with the 10. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. Oh, Best Buy. Ooh. So I got distracted. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Michael. That is very kind of you. Again, those super chats are super, super nice. So thank you very much. And in addition to that, you can also support via the, the join function, like I mentioned. So that way you guys can uh, become a member and get emotes. Uh, will I be doing ATS multiplayer? Sometime, I think so. I guess this is me stepping back into trucking again. And when we get closer to... Uh, the release of the Washington DLC, I'll, I'll definitely come on back for it. This was kind of a thing where it was like, I, I really wanted to stream, I wanted to play like uh, Wolfpack and stuff, but uh, Voidfish was kind of like low energy, and Colt was busy, and Pinto was out of town, and Daniel's sleeping, and you know, it's all these different situations where it's like, oh, I want to do something, but everybody's busy. And I don't want you guys, by the way, if you heard your name called, you're, it's not your responsibility to be here, but I do like it when people are early and often so we can play games. That's what I like, is just playing games with people. I, I don't like doing things alone. Proceeds to do a two-hour trucking stream alone. Yeah, I know. But I like those multiplayer games the most, like uh, Postscriptum, where we can drive a tank together, or uh, Wolfpack, where we can drive a submarine together. That's a lot of fun, but that requires a lot of patience and a lot of focus. New subscriber shout -out. You are low energy, Fish. You know you are. I feel like you winning the lottery would be like, Mr. Fish, you've just won the Wisconsin State Lottery. $100 million. How do you feel? Uh, I'm good. What are you going to do now uh, that you've won the $100 million? Um, Probably going to nap. Wow. Are you going to take any vacations? Um, I might wake up tomorrow and maybe, um, maybe buy um, a Snickers ice cream bar to celebrate. Well, Nobby, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, but I don't want to, like, make you feel forced fish into, like, having to do it because you're not interested in just relaxing. Besides, it's a Friday. You should relax. All right, so we are heading north. Hornbrook is the next right, so that means we've made ourselves into uh, Oregon now. Do I do the back roads? Uh, I take the, I guess, the main drag because there's not too many back roads in the game that goes to the same destination. The game kind of works like a tree. Like, usually there's the main highway and then there's all these roads that go off to the other towns, but then you usually have to come back to the, uh, to the highway. Being a trucker is a great job? Yeah, certainly. But eventually, those Amazon drones are going to replace all that stuff. 
All that crazy stuff coming. But maybe not. Everybody thought we would have flying cars by now and uh, instant pizza where you could like add water to it. If you've ever seen uh, Back to the Future 2, you know exactly what I'm talking about, all that stuff. Do you get rewards in this game? Uh, yeah. You get money, and you can upgrade your truck in order to get, like, a cooler paint job, or a different truck, or, uh, different upgrades, or different drivers, and, um, all sorts of different things, so it's really cool. I like flight simulators as well. You know what I was thinking about doing, guys, is, uh, wouldn't it be cool if we started our own fake Rat Pack Airlines, and I gave all of you guys tickets to come to our live stream, you know, all fake, of course, and we do a whole boarding process, you guys show up at the gate at, uh, you know, Rat Pack International Airport, and you all show up and we fly, and we just hang out and chat while we're on the, on the flight, we'll do everything legitimately, you know, we'll talk like pilots and everything like that, and then you guys can come hang out with us for two hours or so while we're in the plane, me and Pinto, and you can ask us a bunch of questions, we can do our in-flight movie, maybe we'll watch one of my videos while we're in flight. Watch one of one of your favorite videos, and then uh, we'll hand out in-flight snacks. We'll have an in-flight meal. It'll be a lot of fun. Me and Pinto, of course, will have to eat different uh, two different uh, meals. You know, as, as per FAA regulations. Check out Air Hauler Two. Oh, is that like a flight sim uh, transport game? Oh, I'm down with that. Is this your truck? Yes. It is. It. I mean, no. It's it's stolen. <laughs> Can't you tell by how I'm driving? Where are we going? I don't know. Where would you guys like to go? If I if I legitimately said to you, Hi, JCJX, or Hi, Joseph David, you've won a free trip. Where, where would you guys want to go? If I, if I was paying for the airfare, where would you guys want to go? Uh, Raptor, do you use two screens? One for the game and one for comments. Yes, you can check down below in the description, and it has my whole PC list down there. I, uh, I'm actually using three screens. Uh, the one to my left, I can see you guys. The one in the middle, I can see the truck. And the one on the right, I can watch the live stream to make sure. Like, if somebody subscribes, I look over to the right, and I can tell what their name was. Uh, you'd want to go to Allentown? Oh, boy. Is that Uthras? Where is Uthras? Uh, Holland, yeah, Amsterdam. Go to Schiphol. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a poll, and I'll start this fake plane company, and everyone can come along. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe me and Pinto will uh, wear fake uniforms or something like that for the flight. Oh, Air Hauler 2 is an add-on to FSX that adds management. Oh, yes, uh, like the uh, flight economy, I think Pinto told me it's called. I'm down. Can you put even more lights on your truck? Yes, you can very, very customize your truck. But right now, I'm pretending like I'm running for FedEx. So, uh, they wouldn't have too much, uh... They wouldn't have too much in terms of lights and stuff. Denver? We'll probably have to go out of the United States. We'll have to travel somewhere internationally for, like, a games conference. And you guys can all come along. Maybe we'll go to, like, Germany or something. We'll make a stop in Schiphol. You guys can go have some, uh... Strip waffles in, uh, Holland. And then you guys can hop back on and we'll head over to, like, uh, Frankfurt or something. Or Hamburg or... Pro probably Frankfurt. Athens? Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do a vacation. Korea! Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, now that I've traveled a little bit more, I'm really more interested now in flight sims. Tokyo, yes, I've been to Tokyo. You know, Tokyo to me wasn't as, uh, it wasn't as big as I had expected. It's very wide, but the buildings are not, I was expecting more like New York City, but it surely was not New York City. I'm not disappointed at all. It was just much different than I expected. If you ever have a chance to travel, make sure you do. Always take those opportunities to travel. Leave your, leave your home country. Get uncomfortable. Go somewhere you haven't gone before. Make sure you walk around with a totally different currency in your wallet. And try to stay with friends, too, if you, uh, or, or go with friends. If you stay with a family, like, for example, if you're, uh, if you're from Denmark and you get a chance to go to the Netherlands, go and stay with a Dutch family and, you know, see how they interact with each other. And every, every, all the families are very different. But everyone... I will tell you, no matter where you go, people's grandparents will try to kill you with food. It doesn't matter if you're from Canada going to Mexico, 
if you're from uh, the United Kingdom going to Italy, people's grandparents will try to kill you with food. I don't know what that is, but it seems like <laughs> grandparents always like to overfeed everybody. Like, you know, you're with your girlfriend and she tells her grandma, Oh, grandma, me and my boyfriend are coming over. Oh, okay, I'll cook for an army of 1700. And it's like, Grandma, it's not the Revolutionary War. It's not like, uh, you know, Valley Forge and uh, Washington needs to get his troops back up on board to, to fight in the spring. Uh, we're just dropping by for dinner. No, my child, you will eat. And grandparents, they will uh, they'll keep slipping you the food as if it were like bribes or something. I don't know what that is, but yeah, keep, yes, exactly. Eat, you're too skinny. That's right, Tim D. Yeah, even even if you just ate, uh, you still need to eat. I've done that before. I've, I've gone out to eat with girlfriends and then go out to a movie and then I go over to my grandma's house to introduce them and grandma immediately you know trying to trying to get you to eat food immediately why is everybody in this right lane you noobs merge guys it is this is the greatest simulator ever you got traffic accidents in the middle of nowhere you got people stopped on the side of the road in a, in a lane it's ridiculous is that snow yes it's a little frosty up here i guess it is still the winter well technically spring have i been to the uk before nope on the list of places to go though a lot of british people seem to want me to visit and the Dutch, half of the Netherlands, watches my streams for some reason. <laughs> Belgium truck simulator. Belgium's pretty quick to go through in uh, Euro truck. Uh oh, what's the button? Oh, there it is. Come on, ma'am. We're doing 45 now. 45 and a 60. Come on, come on. Alright, I can't deal with this anymore. I can't. You know you're driving poor when a semi is packing you, uh, passing you up. It'd be nice to meet you in person. I would like to do that. Um, as the channel grows larger and larger, I do need to be mindful of my security and the security of others around me. Not that I have any sort of insane fans or anything like that, but it is very important that more than my safety, especially the people around me, are safe. So I might do formal events and things like that, but I don't have a problem going to, like, the UK and then saying, hey guys, I'm gonna be at, uh, you know, this such and such, um, gaming convention. Come, come say hi or whatever. Nope, never been to Australia. The countries I have been to are as follows. Canada. Briefly, illegally. Um. Denmark. The Netherlands. Germany. Sweden. And Japan. And that's it. Jeez, speed limit 60. New subscriber shout out. Adichen, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, we're calling Tupperware right now, and that's our cargo. But at least it's a beautiful day. Go to France? Uh, yes, I... Actually, I could, uh... Our friends, uh, Eugen Systems, are from France, and I've been a fan of their games for a very long time. So it would certainly be nice to go and see them sometime. Find a gas station? Why? Uh, this is a Peterbilt. It says so on the uh, steering wheel. It's the 579, and uh, it's the basically just the mod that... Uh, it's just a quick skin mod that adds FedEx ground to the trailer and the uh, end of the truck. My fuel? We have more more than enough fuel. We could probably get to our destination with our current uh, fuel settings. Oh boy, traffic. What's my favorite weather in-game and also in real life? I like this type of weather. I, I like when it's kind of gloomy like this with a little sprinkling of rain. And the reason that is, is I'm very much, I want to be more and more productive in my life. And so, if I wake up early at like, let's say, 8 a.m., and I look out the window and it looks like this, and then I work a bunch, and then I look out the window at noon and it still looks like this, it tricks me into thinking that time has stood still. <laughs> like, as if I'm getting more done in a, uh, in a shorter time period. So it makes me feel a lot, uh, a lot more productive. Plus, I like to provide you guys with as much entertainment as I can. 
and you know sometimes there's sec- technical difficulties sometimes there's companies who uh, you know they say hey would you like a key to our game early and it's like oh yeah sure that'd be cool and then I gotta wait a while for them to send it over and you know sometimes every once in a while I gotta do laundry and all this other stuff so things get in the way I don't like it when it when I can't entertain you guys I just like it when you guys drop by that's all I like when you say hi and and just see what's going on. It is nice to have your support, so thank you. Is this a god channel? Oh yeah, this is a top tier channel, all, all right, for sure. You've been subscribed for five years. Well, thank you for the support. Appreciate that. Uh, can you honk the horn? Yeah, but I don't even think you'd be able to hear it. You hear it? Uh, yes, we are using FedEx ground delivery. Hey, when you guys order stuff off of Amazon, do you get it via UPS or FedEx? Who, who drops off your uh, your Amazon packages? I just use Amazon because like it's the most generic thing I can think of that most people probably have. What do you guys get? I think mine are FedEx. Do you guys do FedEx? Oh, it depends? Oh, I didn't know if they s went one way or the other. <coughs> or the other. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, come on there, Sparky. Start signaling, start moving. Come on, sir, merge your car, merge your car. Oh, my goodness. Man, people need an aircraft carrier's worth of length between them and another vehicle. Get in there, sir. Yeah, if you use Amazon, it's via FedEx. Okay. Am I using a driving wheel? Yes. If you check down below in the description, it'll tell you all the equipment that I'm using. All the monitors, the webcam... Uh, the steering wheel that I use, the shifter, all that stuff. Some random local delivery company? Oh. Well, it must be... I think the Americans... Uh, it's probably either UPS or FedEx, and if not those two, maybe DHL. But I think UPS and FedEx would have to be on fire for them to do that. On occasion, I think I've... Actually, I did recently get something from Amazon via the U.S. Postal Service... Which was weird because I ordered at Amazon Prime, so I guess even the U.S. Postal Service is trying to compete with that. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing we were in the right lane. Royal Mail? Yeah, I would imagine. I'm new, should I subscribe? Well, I'll tell you what. If anybody right watching right now clicks or taps the subscribe button, their name will pop up on the screen. So, if you subscribe... You'll get your coveted subscriber shout-out, and it'll be awesome. Uh, no, I'm playing single-player right now. Multiplayer doesn't have all the other cars, but my dream in this game is this. If I had to pay 50 bucks a month to host my own server, but I could play with my friends, but we could play with traffic on, I would pay it. This game is so good that I would love to have, like, Colt or uh, anybody else who plays, Riley, for example, to... Uh, you know, host the server and set it up and do all that stuff. I'd pay the bill, no problem. But it is way more fun if you can play with friends with traffic on. Because when it's just like, uh, when it's open road, everybody just wants to do 90 and just like get there as fast as possible. But when there's, um, when there's actual traffic like this, it's a little more entertaining because you have to go in and out of drivers and it's, it's more of a simulator that way. Glenn Turner, thanks for subscribing. Have I used Wish before? I don't know what that is. What is that? Is that an ordering service? Where am I from? Uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Where am I going? I'm going to Oregon, in, Wa in uh, Portland, Oregon, to deliver some Tupperware for apparently a Tupperware party. I don't know. Wait a minute. I see a red line up here. Where does that go? Oh, that's just a, like a CVS pharmacy or something. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of one of those spring mornings. What time is it in the game? It is... 10 a.m. Wow, we've been trucking all night. Do I like turtles? Yeah, dude. Especially ninja, ninja turtles. Those are my favorite. Teenage Mutant, to be precise. Wish is a retail app. Man, all these people who come flying down these on-ramps and then immediately break... I don't get it. I'm doing 55, ma'am. You could have prepared yourself to merge. People can't merge. Americans just don't know how to merge in and especially out of traffic. And uh, when people signal, it's like a camera flash. Like, people just won't even give, like, a... 
people will immediately start sig like what they'll do is they'll do this they just they signal while they're moving as if it's going to like protect them like it creates a force field around their car and it's like no that's not how you do that you look and make sure it's clear and even if you even if you know it's clear you still signal for a couple seconds beforehand then you start to move that's how it's done you never know who's around you. Sometimes there's uh, motorcycles you can't see, or a moped, or, you know, grandma on her uh, turboed out wheelchair. You don't know. Am I going to crash? Maybe. I've bumped into a few things already, but I'm just getting the hang of it. I'm no pro. I just like to play casually. I'm 13, and I know how to drive a side-by-side -side on the road. What's a side-by-side? -side? Is that the motorcycle with the thing? I don't know what that is. Have I ate poutine before? No. Have I ate durian pie before? No. Have I ever rode a bullet train before? Yes. I've been on a Shinkansen before. Doing like 200 miles an hour across Japan. Okay. Guess nobody wants to do 60 today. I guess there are kind of adverse weather conditions. But I don't think it's anything dangerous enough to where everyone needs to drop to 40. Oh, it's a UTV. Got it. Oh, that thing. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, with like two rows of seating and like the trailer. Yeah, I, I think I've driven one of those before. When I worked for the parks department, I have. Hyperloop? No, it was the Shinkansen in Japan. Love that thing. Shinkansen is uh, super cool. Sir, doing 50 in the Cadillac Escalade. Come on, dude. Wow, awesome, dude. There you go, dude. Best simulator in the game, in the world, is this game. Two sem. I can't. I can't possibly. Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I was going to merge, and now suddenly... All right, we got to give them the glare, guys. This is America. You know what we got to do? We got to glare at them. Oh, it was a... Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> yes, Devon, yes. Make sure you click or tap the uh, subscribe button and uh, click or tap the notification bell for, no uh, for uh, notifications on whether or not we're uh, live. Wow, it is crazily uh, raining out. That's some heavy rain. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not even going over in that lane. There we go. Now I can go over. There we go. Play Sea of Thieves with your friends. If anything, I was going to play um, Wolf Pack with my friends, but I need, like, Colt and myself and Voidfish and maybe a man named Running Man to join us. Declan, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, why am I driving a truck? All in all caps. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't know. It's a game, and I wanted to play it. Daniel von Vatu. What about Daniel? Do I hunt or fish? Uh, not cur Not recently, but I've been hunting many times and fishing too. But I haven't gone for a while. Can you fail? Uh, yeah, I suppose if you damage the cargo enough, you'll get no dollars for it. So the more damage that you cause to uh, cargo, the less money you get. So, I mean, you'll still have to complete the job and you don't get any money for it. So that's worse than failure, I'd say. This is a cool overpass. Look at this. That's awesome. Traffic's going up over the railroad tracks. Nice. Have you catched a, have you catched a bass? Is that even a fish? Because I don't know. Yes, bass is a fish. There's largemouth and smallmouth bass. Or at least that I've caught. So yes. Do I drive? Yes. Hi there, James. Is my fuel low? Uh, not necessarily. We still have plenty of gas. 
people are always concerned about fuel. I think a lot of people, um, do you guys just like leave the gas station and then like head down the road and go two blocks and then immediately pull into another gas station? Like, whew, that was a close one. <laughs> a lot of people are, we got plenty of gas. We, this is a very uh, fuel friendly vehicle it seems. Was I supposed to turn there? I can't tell sometimes. Oh, yep, I was. Oh, actually we can go this way, perfect. We'll just go this way. It's the secret route. You're from the tropical Philippines. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Pull over till the rain stops. I have it set to always rain. I have uh, precipitation up to like a million percent. I have, a, I have trouble with that in real life too, where sometimes I don't know if they want you to get off the highway or not, and it looks like it just goes straight. Is that the brakes? It's probably the uh, diesel engine accelerating, if you hear it. What is my favorite game? So, uh, to pull back the per curtain a bit, it's whatever recent game I'm playing. So that's why sometimes I title game, new favorite game, new favorite game, because people are always asking what's my favorite. My favorite is when people just uh, support whatever I'm doing. Like, whatever the newest video is, if everybody checks it out, it's awesome. In fact, we're very close to almost half a million subscribers. We're just 50,000 away. So if you guys click or tap that subscribe button, that's one more to 500,000. And then, on to a million. That's right. Uh, the truck that I'm in is the Peterbilt 579. Well, thank you for subscribing there, Griffin. Hopefully your name pops up then. Anybody who's subscribed who's new, it should pop up. So I do appreciate that. Do I hate traffic? Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of traffic problems are caused by people not uh, paying attention and not really knowing how to pilot their automobile. A lot of people know how to purchase them and, like, you know, look cool in them and text and drive and, you know, like, Instagram them, but don't know actually how they work. Like, they don't know... You know, that other people exist on the road. They don't know how to signal. They don't know how to merge. They don't know how to accelerate. It's surprising that, you know, the vehicle possesses a combustion engine which can increase the speed that it's traveling at and also a system to reduce the speed to zero that it's using as well as signals to uh, communicate with other drivers. It's quite astounding. Right, I can't get behind this. Ford Mustang literally dragging. Not going anywhere. Thanks to all the new subscribers too. Shoutouts to all of you. Uh, bus simulator? I think we did play a bus simulator lately. Check the channel. And again, if you want me to play a specific game, go ahead and follow that link right there. If you uh, want to make a suggestion for a game for me to play, click or tap that join button right there. And uh, go through that process and uh, hop on the Discord and have a little conversation there. Rather than spamming chat repeatedly with the uh, same game title over and over. You can actually get something done by becoming a member, hopping on the Discord, and having a little discussion on what you want me to play. Alright, so... Do I just go straight here? I guess. James, thanks for seven. So yeah, for all your game suggestions, uh, go ahead and click or tap the join button. All yeah, right, so we're almost to our destination. I think we're, I took another wrong turn by misreading that uh, GPS, but let's see how far we are away. Oh, 16 hours, we still got a long way to go. I thought we were towards the end. Is there cats, dogs, and birds in this game? I think you can see birds and cats and dogs maybe by like looking around, like somebody might be walking their dog, I don't know. But it's not like I can have a dog in the cabin with me or anything. Oh, there we go. Henry Yang, long time no see. Well, hello. You can get a cat in the cabin? Oh, that's nice. 
You know, I want a mod for this game where I get to pull over to, a, a, like, a McDonald's or a Burger King. I could really go for, like, a Whopper right now. I really like that charbroiled taste every once in a while. You know what I mean? Are there any Swedes in chat? Anybody here right now awake from Sweden? Hey, Asvaria. Hey, how am I doing? Yo, Svenska. Hey, hey. Yoga Hungary. What if Mr. Beast donated here? Well, I'd certainly be thankful. But it would it probably would never happen. But if he did, I would be thankful. Probably write a thank you letter. I don't think that's something I could just let slide by if it was something tremendously large. Oh boy, come on. 50, come on. 50 miles per hour. Let's go. Do I speak any German? Uh, Sprechen Klein Deutsche. Come on, man. Jeez, I cannot believe these people. Gargantuan semi barreling down on them, doing half the speed of smell. God. This game does a good job of infuriating, that's for sure. My God. Do I like McDonald's? Certainly, yes. That's why those companies have so much money. It's not... Um, they all have uh, specific flavor recipes, like flavoring, that they pay billions of dollars to develop to make it addicting, so that way they can turn a bigger profit at a slender margin. Uh, is it Sweden where they have the ooze? No, that is uh, only Norway and Denmark, I think, use that. Sweden doesn't have that character in their language. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Q. Appreciate that. Okay, now I think we're supposed to stay left, which is right, because there's no way I can go that way. Do I like pie? Absolutely, man. I love uh, some pumpkin pie on occasion. Uh, I like the more fruity pies, though I don't mind like a French silk or a, like a custard kind of thing. You know what I really like? I don't know if this qualifies as pie, because it's called cake, but cheesecake? Cheesecake to me is kind of like a pie because it's more like a... It just has more of a pie filling. But I love me some cheesecake for sure. Tim Hortons? I've never really been to a Timmy's. But I'm going to get me a double double if I ever go to a Timmy's, bud. Do I like Doctor Who? Who is that? Do I play Cross Out? You'll have to check the channel. I would encourage you all to check the channel and watch all the videos there. I, I've uploaded over 3,000 videos in the last year and a half, so... Uh, all you gotta do is go to the channel and click or tap the little search bar there and type it in and I probably played it. You, me, and everyone else probably have a lot of the same games in common because I played everything. Uh, where are we going? Alright, yes, we should get gas now. Now is a good time to get fuel. After two wrong turns, I would have been there by now. Where is it? Alright, so we got about 15 hours left. We do need to exit though. Super Chat's not available in your region. Oh, sorry about that. YouTube is like that. They make features, then don't let anybody use them. They're weird like that. Okay. Well, we still got plenty of fuel left. The game makes it look like we got way less fuel than we actually have. Yeah, if you skip a red light, you do get a ticket for that. You'll, you'll pay a fine. Uh, if you had to do big... Big rig trucking in real life, would you do it? I think so. I mean, I wouldn't do it as a job, but I would like to do it. You know, it'd be really cool is if I did a YouTube series where I did out different jobs. Remember Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe? Do you guys remember that show? I love Dirty Jobs. But I'd like to do more than just Dirty Jobs, too. It'd be cool to, like, you know, become a pilot and do some trucking, and I don't know if anybody would watch that, but whatever. Isaac Schwartz, thank you for the $1.99. Appreciate it. Love the vids, man. Keep them up. You got it. Yeah, I uh, put up several videos a day and stream, so uh, for those of you who are new here, you can click or tap the subscribe button. And uh, get access to that stuff on the daily. Yeah, Dirty Jobs was wonderful. Mike Rowe was a fantastic, charismatic host, and it was really interesting to see a lot of things being made. And he was, uh, he got down and dirty with folks. Everything from, like, cleaning barnacles off of propellers to uh, septic tanks and all that type of stuff. Am I a gamer, vlogger, or both? I would say both, but I don't really do the vlogging section much. Wait a minute. 
Oh, wait, 14 hours, 25 minutes is what remained on the delivery. We're actually dropping it off right up here. Oh, we're almost to our destination, boys. Then we can get gas afterwards. Perfect. Do I like Taco Bell? Yes. Do I like 90s country? I think so. I think Shania Twain was kind of cool. I don't know. I don't really listen to it that much. Uh, what type of truck do I drive? Oh, in this game, it, it is a Peterbilt right now. Seems like the, uh, what time is it in the game? Actually, I can't tell. Well, let's get over in the right lane. We'll check later. You should get the Canada mod. Where would I go in Canada? But I'd end up just going into a Timmy's, let's be honest. And I think there's a gas station around here, so we'll be in business. Oh, go to, go to Quebec? Oh, that'd be cool. All right, we're here. Finally, the Amazon Prime offices. Do I like Subway? Yeah. Are there off-roads to the game? A little bit, yeah. There's actually, um, there's a couple of places in the game that are actually like uh, lumber mills, and, or, well, logging camps, and you have to deliver to them. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we, ooh. Ooh, oh, I'll never be able to do that. I'm not even going to try. I'm way too rusty for that. Uh, please tell everyone what you said to me about playing PUBG. What? I don't know. I don't even remember what I said about playing PUBG. I don't even remember that. Oops. Rolled forward just a hair too far. There we go. All right, offload. Ah, I killed a random goat. Yes, I do remember that. I don't play PUBG, no. Current company offers. Let's continue. Actually, I should have should have looked at the company offers. All right, we're about as north as we get. Astoria is the only far north city we can go to. Let's see. What else could we am? Oh, we we have to do cargo market. Portland. Let's see if we can go west. What's over here? Astoria? Oh, there we are. Oh, nuts. Ooh, it's uh, needed extra fast. Urgent delivery of nuts. Or office supplies. Ooh, this one offers 6,000. Let's do that. Where did I drive tanks at? One place was called First in Forest in Germany. And the other one is in Casota, Minnesota called uh, rideatank.com. All right, let's make sure we uh, make a stop at the gas station. All right, where is the gas station? Oops. First, we got to pick up our cargo. Oh, I think it's actually right here. Uh, we got to swing by the Walmart. Seems like for gas. Yeah, we should probably stop there. Do we get our cargo from here? Where's the cargo? Cargo market. Or did that just expire or something? Office supplies. Oh, I think we're actually at the place. Okay. Oh, I, I guess I have to go back over to that sign. First and Walled? No, it's called First and Forest is the name of the, the place. It's like north of Saltau, bef uh, or no, I, actually I don't, oh no, it's um, west, closer to the uh, Netherlands. Uh, you told me that I had to super chat $500 and you'll play PUBG. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if anybody wants to super chat $500, I'll play whatever. That's a hefty amount of money. That's why I make that joke, because usually I just want to play when I'm, like, playing. Cargo's ready to be loaded. Oh, now i got to go back over there. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, usually I just say that to get people off my back for, uh... 
like playing whatever game they want to play and it's like I want to play what I want to play that's how it works like I, I play and you drop by when you can and click the like button and that's how it all works you're originally from Leipzig okay well that's cool yeah the plate it's called first and forest but I don't really remember much about it could be first and Wald. I don't know but the company name was First and Forest. I still have the receipt. All right, I'm not even going to try to back this up. Let's not even let's not even play around. Okay, let's go and get some fuel now. I think we need to go to. Uh, let's see, Estonian Eman. You should uh, follow the developers on Twitter. They might give away a key sometime to more Steel Division. Okay, let's go there first. Indian food is so spicy. Oh, it depends on what you have. I can't show you how to customize things because we need to go to the truck garage for that first. And uh, we're f a little we're a little far away from home there, Dorothy. Curry. Oh, I like curry though. I li I had chicken curry last night actually. I make a pretty good chicken curry. Uh, what free mobile games do you play in live stream? I've only played one mobile game recently, and that was World of Warships Blitz. Uh, they uh, gave me a sponsorship deal where they wanted me to like promote it and stuff, and I I actually enjoyed it. I really liked it. I liked World of Warships before, and I'm I'm kind of hesitant about mobile games. I don't really think they're good. I don't really uh, I don't I don't think that I would enjoy them. And I tried that one, and I legitimately liked it. Now keep in mind they paid me to play it, but they paid for my time, but not for my opinion, and and they knew that. But I thought it was pretty fun. So if you have like a doctor's appointment or something like that, or a dentist appointment or whatever, and you're going to be waiting, download that game, give it a shot. If it's not for you, delete it. But I think you'll like it. All right, boys, we're going to get gas, and then we're going to make one more delivery of uh, office supplies, and then we're out of here. California Reaper Pepper. Oof. Make sure you uh, have a will signed and notarized by an attorney before you eat that. Oh. We got a train coming. Hey, would you guys like me to play train games again, too? You guys remember when I played Train Simulator? I kind of miss playing that. I'd like to do that again. But I actually want to do a tr uh, plane simulator first with Pinto. And maybe I'll have Pinto drop by and we'll stream it together from my apartment. We'll see. We'll get the background to be like a plane or something like that. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm totally serious. Like I want to hand, I want to make tickets. Maybe I can email it to you guys. That'd be too much. But you know what? I'll drop it in the community tab. You'll all get your boarding passes, and you guys can make your way through security. It'll be a lot of fun. Where is this train? Hello. What the? The lights aren't flashing anymore. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's a light rail. That was it. Two cars. Okay. What about World of Tanks, A.K. World? Oh, I, I've played that years ago, but I haven't since. I like the uh, a little bit more of the realism of uh, War Thunder, but I'm not against World of Tanks. I just think that's a different game mode of tanking. But I think most people just prefer World of Tanks because it's easier to uh, learn the weak spots and shoot and get one and dones. People like to just instack and kill things in one shot, and that game allows you to do that, as as it was in real life too. Do I play a Nintendo Switch? I actually had a couple of friends come over and play Nintendo Switch with me. I, I, I enjoyed that. That was really nice. Uh, I'll donate $500 Super Chat one day and make you play a goofy game. I'll go for it. Go right ahead. World of Warplanes? I haven't played that one. Alright, now hopefully... Is this thing bringing me to the gas station? It better. I better make sure. I don't trust it. Okay, it looks like it is taking me to the gas station. Next, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you guys see that? Do you guys notice anything funny about this area? Anybody in chat? You guys notice something a little strange there? Anonymous, thanks for subscribing. Hmm, something a little weird there.
Apparently they're owned by Starbucks now. Oh. Does anyone here uh, <clears throat> use a flight stick to play Flight Simulator X? Or any Flight Simulator games, I should add. And would anybody rec uh, recommend a flight stick to me? Oh, Anthony Sexton, thank you very much for the $2, my man. Greatly appreciated. Very nice of you. Thanks, everybody, for topping off the diesel tank tonight. Very nice of you. It's like tipping your Uber driver now. Or like a taxi driver. I'm driving everyone around this virtual fake environment that doesn't exist at all. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, I guess we are exiting here. Well, am I happy? Um, earlier today I was a little frustrated because I wanted to like stream stuff, but now I'm happy because I figured out... Like I wanted to be productive, and now I'm being productive. So yes, now I'm happy. You just got out of jail today? Or were you playing Monopoly? Anthony Sexton, thanks for becoming a member too. Enjoy your new emotes, dude. Swag upgraded to 1,000%. Thank you very much uh, for that. Enjoy your new badge, your name highlighted in green. And feel free to join our private chat section on the Discord. If you guys want to support as well, like Anthony did, go ahead and click or tap that link uh, in chat, or click or tap the Join button. Am I getting off here? Jeez, I am so bad with these things. I can't tell sometimes. Wow, there's like no cars around here. What's going on? This part of town is just abandoned. Is there a zombie outbreak or something? I don't want to get bit by no zombie. Uh, Logitech G Satec Pro Flight Yoke System. I like that. Thrustmaster Hasa has a good one. I think I do have one of those. New member. I'll have to look. Thank you very much again there, Anthony. Welcome aboard. Have I ever tried VR before? Yes. Actually, the one of the greatest VR games that I played recently was Ace Combat 7. They invited me out. Uh, Bandai Namco invited me to the global launch of Ace Combat 7, and I got to, like, launch the game in uh, hundreds... I, I would assume 100,000 probably. I, I don't remember the number, but let's just say 100,000 people watched us play the game and promote the game, and it was a lot of fun. So if you tuned in, thank you for doing that. I had a lot of fun doing that. I met Ace Combat fan, nicest dude in the world, and uh, their PR rep over there at Bandai Namco, Dimitri. That dude is nice. Those people are very nice, very professional, very talented, and it was a fun time. Am I smart? Uh, I'm persistent, and I'm consistent, but and I'm smart in some things, but uh, mathematics and such, probably not. All right, $133 for gas. Oh, no, never mind. $455. Whew, that's where those super chats are going, boys. The fuel bill. All right, let's get back on the road now. Uh, how am I supposed to get out of this place? Over there? Oh, okay. Let's just go this way. Did I turn off my lights? No, they're on. But I did turn off the wipers. There we go. There we go. All right. A lot of truckers sleeping for the night. Have I played on PS4? Yes. You can uh, check the, the channel later for that. You like cold water videos? Yeah, speaking of uh, Wolfpack, Cold Waters is another one that I played that was lots of fun. And I'll be going back to do surface ships on that soon. Again, check the channel down below in the description to see when I'm playing stuff and what's next for the channel. Alright, so now we've got to flip around. This part of the town is just dead. Nobody's here. Why is no one here? Is it some crazy time of day or something? Let me see. It's fi it's 5 p.m. What's, what's going on? Is Survivor on or something? Or Big Brother and everybody's at home? I don't know what people go and watch anymore on TV. I don't know. Maybe Stranger Things Season 3 dropped on Netflix? Is this a one-way road? That's weird. Oh, green light. Why didn't I use the scale? I didn't have to. 
I don't think it does anything. I think you can just drive through it and it doesn't it doesn't work, I think. Hi there, pre cooled. Ooh, this is a red light. Oh well. Too late. Oh, actually I was allowed to go through. Excellent. Yes, they do have way stations in the game. So if you drive over one, uh, or if you're asked to call, if you're called in to stop at a way station, uh, you will have to weigh yourself. Anthony Sexton, thanks for the one dollar, appreciate it. Is this game from mobile? No. It is a uh, PC game. You can actually run this on a laptop pretty good. And if you have a gaming controller like a PlayStation 4 controller, an Xbox controller, you can. Uh, you can use that pretty good. Oh, that's right. We're going to go towards uh, Portland now. I don't want to go to Vancouver there, bud. There we go. Man in the High Castle's good. Yeah, there's another movie called uh, Fatherland out there that has alternative history of World War II as if Germany didn't lose the war but also didn't take it over either. No, my PS4 name isn't on my profile. I, I don't play PS4 online enough to actually have the uh, online account. I have it now for uh, when the next Last of Us comes out and a few other things. I will do that. I wanted to play that Sekiro game, but uh, I didn't get any keys for it. I like those kinds of games. Actually, when I was at Bandai Namco Studio, I also saw the... Uh, uh, stuff for Dark Souls, and that was a lot of fun, too. Uh, it didn't let me text in the Super Chat. I wanted to let you know that I was glad to join as a member before I went to bed. Keep up the great work. Love your videos. Thank you very much, Anthony. Kind of you. You have yourself a good evening, then, if you're leaving. Uh, what is this game about? Looks fun. It is literally what the uh, title is. You're just driving a truck. Truck and sim. Just like flight sims, just like, uh, just like train sims. This is just trucking. Daniel, thank you for subscribing. I think this is a little more... Um, people like this a little bit more, though, because you get to customize your truck, and you can uh, do a lot more stuff with the interior and the exterior, as we're with flight sims, you're basically just flying someone else's plane, in most cases, or in train sims, you're on somebody else's train. So there's really no customization. It's just do your job. Uh, hey, Raptor, why do you upload so much? Because um, I can? I don't. I don't know. That's like asking McDonald's why they have so many menu items. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just feel the need to do it, and if I don't, I get like irritated that I didn't do it. It's it, there's four, there's almost half a million of you and one of me, so I sometimes think that you guys are a little bit more important than I am. So I'm like, oh, they need they need a video today. You guys are like, you guys are like feeding a goldfish. Like, if I walk past that fishbowl on my way out and I haven't yet released a video, I'm going to feel guilty the whole day. i got to give you guys a little something to, to nibble on, right? Like That's why you guys subscribed. I have You subscribe for a reason. So I have to, uh, I have to supply. Right? Do I do YouTube full-time? No, I'm a part... Well, I have two part-time jobs. Part-time stripper and I do hair. Or am I going to do more farming sim? When I feel like it, yeah. Yeah, you guys are like a goldfish. Yeah, that's true. And by the way, we all know the superior cracker is the goldfish crackers. You know, the cheddar ones. It's the snack that smiles back. Yeah, I mean that in a good way. Like, I can't, I can't neglect you guys. I have to put up something. Otherwise, why, uh, why be a, uh, why put up video game footage? This is an interesting road. I feel like I'm reaching the... Uh, am I going up to the stratosphere now or something? Oh, there goes FedEx. I thought I turned that mod on, though. That should make the realistic uh, brands for them. Maybe it's just off. Uh, what if you have Wilson in your cargo? You mean the uh, ball from uh, Castaway that Tom Hanks like cut his hand and made a character out of?
Now oh, the rain is just beautiful. Speed limit here is 50 miles an hour. Everybody's doing 40. Crawling down to 35 now. Man. Yeah, we're pro we might deliver this late, actually, because the customer... We had to stop for gas. All right, I can't. All right, FedEx, you got to get out of the way. That's the local delivery guy. I'm the, like, cross state lines. Oh, wait, I'm over here. CJ Webb, you're new. Welcome. All right, it's lower down now. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, there we go. Green light. Well, for all of you who are new, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for dropping by. Hanging out. Chilling. You're having a pretty good time already on your first uh, first view of the stream? Good. Very good. Have I ever crashed? Oh, yes. Especially at like uh, 5 a.m. after a hardcore gaming sesh, for sure. CJ Webb, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. I uh, love the music. What is it? This is called jazz. Yes. And I don't have a playlist or anything for it because it's like a it's a private thing that only YouTubers have access to through a company. So essentially I pay them like I don't know, I pay them like two hundred bucks a month and they give me all sorts of free music and stuff that I can use in my videos and stuff. So it's fair. I pay for it. Hi there, Christine. How you doing? Sounds pretty romantic. Oh, I know. I'm about to have a uh, beautiful date with a cheeseburger pretty soon. Or something. I actually don't know. I, I ate a pretty big lunch. No, I didn't. I ate, like, some macaroni and cheese for lunch. And now I'm, like, full. Which is weird, because I thought I'd be hungry for dinner, but I'm not really. You had noodles, fish? Yeah. Oh, I got. I gotta buy myself some ramen just in case I get hungry. That's one thing that I've cut down on is like eating meals that don't take a lot of preparation. So like I've got like uh, like um, I just got stuff all over, like green beans and fresh vegetables and all that you grow stuff that kids hate. Jesse, thank you for subbing. You need to stop eating noodles. You have a problem. Well, I mean, you can always eat noodles. Just make sure you add other things to it, like vegetables and, uh, you know, some good pork and things like that. You should try tuna with pretzels and onion and mayonnaise. Whoa, that sounds like some crazy Midwestern thing. Is that is that a hot dish, Jake, or is that a casserole? Because if you're from Minnesota, that's called a hot dish. And if you're from Wisconsin, like fishes, that's a casserole. That's what sep that Those are the things that separate us. Because I love tater tot hot dish. And uh, I also like... There's a hot dish that some people can make where it's like a... Um, where it's like a... It's like chow mein. So you have like white rice... And then you put, like, beef on it, and then, like, um, some, like, celery, and those, uh, you know those little noodles that they make? That are, like, crunchy? Like, they're the crunchy brown noodles? I don't, I don't even know what those are called. I don't know. And then you put those, uh, like, water cashews in there. Oh, my God, do I love water cashews. Dude, water cashews are, like, halfway between a potato and a, uh, and, like, a... They're halfway between a potato and, uh, uh, what's, what am I trying to say? A potato and, like, a, I don't know what they, they're like a potato and a potato chip. They're somewhere between. 
Ooh, a squash casserole? I've actually been looking to eat more squash, dude. Squash is a severely underrated uh, thing. Like, butternut squash is awesome. That is, like, a really good thing. I'll have to make a cooking video sometime. Just, uh, not, not as a how-to, but just to show me cooking it. Stewed cabbages, carrots are awesome. Oh, not, oh yeah, bamboo shoots. Yes, yes, there you go, JC. Yeah, bamboo shoots. That's another good thing. Yeah. I actually miss eating a lot of sauerkraut, too. Since some of my family is German and Polish, I eat Polish things and German things and Swedish things. And being from the Midwest is an interesting thing. Have I tried curry? Yeah, I made chicken curry last night. Um, I start with a red onion. And then you saute that down and add a big old fat tomato to that. And then you add a little bit of, uh, once you've done that, you add some uh, garlic paste. And then after that, uh, or no, actually, you, you should add your ginger first, then your garlic paste. And then after that, right immediately after the ginger, uh, or the garlic paste, you go ahead and mix that up real good. And then add, uh, sprinkle in your, uh, your curry powder. And make sure you get that in there good. And you can add your extra cumin and anything else, turmeric, whatever else you want to put in there. And then let that sit for just a little bit. And then throw in your chicken breast. You can eat a vegetarian if you want to. And then make sure you got rice on the side, of course. Of course you need rice. But it is awesome. It is just a really good thing. Do I like schnitzel? Yes. I've had schnitzel before in Germany. Really good. And this music right now is top tier. This is awesome. Uh, playing on PC. This is a PC game. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice to make it fish. And make sure you're good at uh, mincing and dicing. Those are things that you're going to want to make sure you're good at. You do need to make very thin, uh, small cubes of uh, onion and of... Uh, is it the turn here? No, it's the next... Wait, where is this place? I think it's the next turn. Have I tried ramen? Absolutely. When I was in Japan, I uh, was introduced to a very good ramen place by somebody there, and it was delicious. Uh, a lot of Japanese like pork ramen. I agree. My my life goal now is to travel across to Japan and uh, try all different types of ramen. I love ramen. Uh, schnitzel with German noodles is a great black... Oh, black forest ham, yeah. Uh, German noodles. Isn't that... Uh, what, what, what's that German noodle called? Oh, the Germans make it. I just saw the name of it like three seconds ago. I forgot now. It's called... Uh, I'm not going to look at chat. I'm going to think of this myself. You can say it all you want in chat, but I'm not going to look. Uh, isn't it... Uh, uh, uh oh, is this not the right place? Oh, crap, it was back there. Isn't it like... I think it's spech, Spechel or Speckle or spe, Spatules or something. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm not in reverse. There we go. All right, looks like we made a wrong turn. Spech, spetzel. Spatula? Isn't it? I, I've, what is the name of that thing? Hi, Faze. Oh, no, it's not Spatula. It's like... Spetzel? Is it Spetzel? I don't... That doesn't sound... It sounds close. I don't know. Swa squash is like sweet potato? Mmm, kinda. Sweet potato... I don't know. There's rutabaga and all sorts of different root vegetables. People don't eat roots... Ve That's what's wrong with this world, damn it. Everybody needs to start eating some more root vegetables. Get your beets, kids. Start eating your sweet potato and your, um... And ginger and all that other stuff. All, anything... If it's a root, it's good. All right. <clears throat> oh well, let's see. Should we do the easy job? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. I am rusty that I need to be sponsored by WD-40 tonight. Pierogies are heavenly. Yes, 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 yes. A girlfriend made me pierogies. She found out that I was Polish and started making a lot of like German and Polish stuff. Pierogies are very nice. Also, b very big fan of kielbasa. All right, there we go. Went a little, a little hair over again. 
Uh, I know right people don't eat cabbage greens or nothing like that. Oh, do you mean white people? Oh, I love uh, collard greens. I, uh, one of my cousins a few years ago uh, married into a black family, and my God, some of the greatest food. Um, they used ham bone to somehow steam and stew some collard greens. Incredible. Just absolutely delicious. I went back for like thirds and stuff. That is just amazing. And I, I, that's not, unfortunately, that's not something you can get at a restaurant or something like that. That's That's got to be, that's cooked with love in a family, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, like, if you, if you, if you, uh, get some friends who are, like, from a different country or something, go, go over to their house. Be casual about it, but go over to their house and, like, see how good their food is. Like, ooh. Like, if you, you know, if you, if you're dating, like, a German girl or a guy or something like that, go over to their house. Some of that food's gonna be awesome. When you, when you step out of your, uh, diet and stuff, like, if you're in a Mexican family and you go over to, like, a Korean family and you start, like, eating, uh, kimchi and stuff like that and they're just all casual about it oh my god like hey man food is something that should really unite us i mean get eat some new food boys and make sure you try your root veggies uh, seriously it's important that stuff is good and i've been over to uh yeah dutch family's house i had some turkish dishes before man you gotta try some new stuff the problem with that though is that there's a lot of food that you'd be surprised cannot be made at like a restaurant like they just they don't even have time for it and if they did they'd freeze everything and they'd refrigerate it and so it would lose its like it would lose its value so if you're going to be eating uh plantains or something like that uh yeah don't go to well i mean you could go to like a south american restaurant and it'll be fine but if you like you know if you can somehow sneak into a cuban's house or something for dinner or somebody from like guatemala or something like that or Nicaragua. Make sure you, like, go and try their food. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, man. All right, everyone. Well, we delivered some Tupperware earlier, and we delivered some office supplies in our FedEx ground truck. It was a lot of fun. A lot of you guys uh, super chatted tonight, so I do want to say, like, another thank you to that. You were all wonderful. And I do want to pimp out uh, clicking and tap of that join button. I want to make some good food. And so if you want to follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to and what I'm cooking... Make sure you go ahead and uh, click or tap that uh, Instagram link. Uh, uh, the reason I wondered why you upload so much is because some of your videos don't even have 10,000 views yet. You have 450,000 subscribers. Well, that could be because a lot of the content isn't for everybody. This truck and stream, certain people subscribed only to see World War II content. This has nothing to do with that, so they're just not interested. And a lot of the time it has to do with algorithms too. But that's a whole different thing. YouTube... Uh, is a way different game today than it was in 2016. So if you're getting 10,000 uh, views, you're doing something right. And uh, most of those videos get that. So thanks, everybody, for your support. If you'd like to win some free games, I'll probably be doing giveaways of keys on Twitter. So make sure you go ahead and follow on Twitter as well and click or tap that subscribe button and click or tap that uh, notification bell and change it to all. If you don't, you're not going to be notified of streams and you will miss out on stuff. So make sure you do that. The only thing that'll happen is you're just going to get a, a notification, and uh, you can ignore it. If it's not if it's not something you want to see, you just ignore it, but at least you got the notification. So make sure you do that. Very nice. Well, tonight was a very lovely stream, so I want to thank everyone for subscribing. I want to welcome... Oh, Absolute Gaming and Anthony Sexton as two new subscriber or two new members tonight. I think we may have unlocked our new subscriber emote. So thank you, everybody, for all your support in that. And thank you again. I'll drop that uh, join link one more time. You guys can do that. If you'd like to see Pinto streaming, he is in uh, Guam right now. He travels the world uh, with his family and such. You can go ahead and follow him on uh, Twitter as well. Or, sorry, Twitch. I'll go ahead and put that there. You can subscribe and follow for free over on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Rat Pack. Make sure you support him over there. Carl Robinson, thanks for your support. Thank you, everybody, for all your big O crazy super chats tonight. And uh, all your love throughout the week. Thanks to Fish and Colt and... Pinto and uh, Strombi and everybody who's been in the videos lately, Riley, uh, just to name a few, Chris, uh, really nice. Uh, probably going to be playing some Steel Division tomorrow, maybe, I think I'm going to do some more recordings, but when Pinto comes back, we're going to work on that airplane thing, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Am I on a controller? Yes, I'm on a steering wheel. You can check all, all my equipment down below. You don't have a Twitter? You should make one, Alex. It's free of charge, and I can be the first person you follow. Come say hi. Uh, why does Anonymous keep subscribing? Uh, that's when somebody has their subscription set to private. 
but somebody did subscribe. So it doesn't tell you their name, but it does tell you that somebody subscribed. Can you ask a question? Yes, you can do that. I'll be here for just a few more seconds and then we'll end the stream. I like the fact that this truck has the U.S. Department of Transportation logo on the side and also the uh, identification number for the truck. <clears throat> Hi there, Absolute Gaming. Enjoy your new emotes, my man. Uh, I wish we could change shoes and trade live so I can taste your food and you can taste mine. Yeah, that'd be a cool thing to be able to just teleport to different places of the world, try out new stuff. All right, I'll answer one more question and then I, I gotta go. So somebody come up with one good question and I'm out of here. I also would like to pimp out our Teespring store too for anybody <clears throat> who uh, would like to purchase a coffee mug or a t-shirt or whatever. YouTubers do it all the time. Buy my merch. If you'd like to. It's a good way to support the channel. Uh, my question is, you should make a vlog channel. Well, that's not a question, but that is something I'd like to do. Yane, thank you for subbing. Uh, what am I playing tomorrow? Uh, I don't know yet, but we'll see. So that's why you should click or tap the subscribe button and the notification bell. So when I do go live, and when I do decide, you'll know. Alright, everyone. Well, that's it for tonight's stream. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. Crazy Dinosaur Man is getting out of here. So you all have yourselves a pleasant evening, afternoon... A very good weekend, and don't forget to click or tap the subscribe button. Your name should pop up here on the way out. Thank you, everyone. Make sure you go ahead and clean up after yourselves. Uh, look around for any trash or anything on the floor on the way out. Appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Subscriber shout out.